It's an adventure world that we are creating, using our brain to get anywhere we can. So we tell these stories. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm sorry it's been a while. It's been over a month I think since my last video. Um, if you did see my last video you would have known that I took a few weeks off to focus on exams because at the job I'm at I'm studying for an accounting qualification and I cannot fail the exams otherwise I may lose my job or I'll have to pay a lot of money to reset it so I needed to focus but they went well. I had two exams yesterday. Won't get my results until the 13th of July so I'll let you know how I get on. But yeah, praying it all went well. Today I am up in Liverpool. I've just made the four hour drive from Milton Keynes up to Liverpool. I've got a few meetings tomorrow morning, throughout the day tomorrow. So I thought I'd come up today so I can just wake up in the morning, head straight over there. But as you would have seen from the title, I am gonna be on TV. So I thought I'd make a quick vlog. Maybe I'll stretch it out over the week. I don't know, I might just do today. And um, just tell you about what's going on. So on Tuesday the 12th of June, I'm gonna be on a TV show. It's called Caught on Camera, Flights from Hell and it's on ITV and unfortunately, you know, Love Island just started yesterday. So everyone is gonna be watching TV from nine till 10. But my TV show is on from nine till 10. So I just, you know, I'm just asking, you know, for three weeks, it's on for three weeks in a row from the 12th, 19th, 26th of June. If you do fancy watching ITV1 instead of ITV2, you could, you could see me talking about planes. So, yeah, or you can watch it on catch up or watch on ITV plus one, you know, whatever you want to do. But at the end of the day, it's there. It's on the internet. You can watch it on ITV Hub if you want. So it's going to be a TV show. It's called Caught on Camera Flights from Hell. It's all about home video footage of things going wrong on a plane. And then myself, I'm there representing like cabin crew as like a cabin crew expert, if you like. And then I think there was a pilot. She was like the first. 747 lady captain or something she flew for virgin um someone who works on the ground and might be a few other people but we're there to give like an like an expert's opinion on like what actually should happen like the the proper procedures that should go through in in the different circumstances that people have caught on camera and general little anecdotes i suppose little inside information little bits of knowledge that people at home might not know they just asked me loads of questions and I answered them. I can't really remember, it was a while ago now. It was, I think I did the filming in February. They got in contact with me last year, before Christmas, just sent me an email saying like, hey, we found you on YouTube. We've got a, a TV show coming up. We think you'd be good for the part. Would you like to come and do it? So I was like, yeah, wicked. Sounds like a good idea. So I met up with them in February, went to a, it was like an airbase hangar. I think it was in Surrey potentially. Apparently they filmed like James Bond movies and if there's ever anything to do with planes and a film in the UK, generally they would use that kind of airfield. Had loads of like fake mock-up of planes. So it's got like the whole inside shell of a plane. So it looks legit, but it's not actually a real plane. It's just uh, like a film set. So I was there for a few hours. Um, it was absolutely freezing. I don't know if this is gonna come across on camera, but I'm literally sat there with like a blanket over my legs, shivering the whole time with like a cup of tea in between my hands so you might see some like steam coming off my cup of tea but it was absolutely freezing that day if that comes across if I'm like my jaw Mika always says this when it's cold like my jaw starts to, to like quiver or something I don't know so you might see my jaw quivering but yeah it was it was a it was a good day like I got paid so it's pretty cool but I am gonna be on TV so that yeah I would I would like it if you watch it give me some feedback let me know what you think I've no idea what it's gonna turn out like how much I will actually feature. I'm guessing I'll be on it like less than a minute in total maybe, just saying a few sentences here and there, but we'll we'll see. What else is there to update you on? I don't know. Mika's parents are back now. They, as you know, they live in South Africa. They're back with us now for the summer. Mika and I are going on holiday in two weeks. Can't wait for that. Um, getting back into golf, playing a little bit of golf. I'm going to head out into Liverpool, get some food, come back to watch Love Island. So let's go and see what. Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you. The, I'll show. You, I'll show you the hotel room first. It is a Malmaison, which is I've never stayed at Malmaison before, but I get the impression that they're quite a nice hotel. I'm not really sure. Nice little bed, some uh, seats, TV over there, and then it's got a big bathtub. 
and then a shower. In the corridor, as I was walking up, there was a massive yellow submarine like hanging in the middle. So I'll show you that in a minute. If you don't know Liverpool, it's like up north. I was in Bradford like two weeks ago, so I'm doing a little, I'm doing a little tour of the north of England. It's famous for the Beatles, who are a band, and they had a song called "The Yellow Submarine." So, yellow submarines are quite iconic in Liverpool, so that's why there's a yellow submarine. But yeah, I've not. Have I been to Liverpool? The only time I've been to Liverpool, I think, was when I was really young. I think we went to the Beatles Museum, but I can't really remember much. And then Tamworth, if you don't know, I'm a Tamworth football fan, because my dad is. And we played Everton a few years ago in the FA Cup, so we came to see them play Everton. Let's head out and see Liverpool. Back. My hay fever is so bad. I've been like sneezing the whole time. But I've just been out for a little walk. I went to Five Guys, got some dinner, and thoughts on Liverpool is it's a pretty cool place actually. Where the hotel is, it's like right on the the pier. So there's I think like cruise ships must come past here. There was a boat there that had like loads of motorbikes. They must have just come back from the Isle of Man, I think. And then walked all the way along. I think where the Beatles Museum is, and there's some statues as you would have seen. It's a little shopping centre. Yeah, pretty cool place. I quite like it. It's got a good little, it's got a good vibe. I'm gonna get in bed now and watch Love Island, and then head to sleep. So I'll catch up with you in the morning. Time is 6.35. All right, let's go to the gym. Let's head to breakfast. That breakfast was so good. I am gonna check out now and head to work. I might quickly stop by at Anfield and check out the football stadium while I'm here and I've got to make Kieran who's a big Liverpool fan so I'm gonna send him a picture and Yeah, I will probably catch up with you later on in the week Mika and I are going to the summer ball for my work on Friday at Silverstone Yeah, so I'll quickly show you our our outfit on Friday, but yeah, I'll probably pick it up on Friday <laughs>
Okay, it is Sunday now. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we got up to. As you would have seen on Friday, we went to Silverstone for my works summer ball, which was amazing. The I'm a big Formula One fan, so obviously being at Silverstone was incredible. Where we had our drinks reception was like right over the home straight. And then they had a Ferrari there, an F430, quite old bit in bad condition, but it was still pretty cool. And um, yeah, so much fun, such a good night. And then yesterday we had a family round for a barbecue. And today Mika and I have been up to Birmingham to see my parents for lunch. And now we got back, I'm quickly watching the Canadian Grand Prix now. And gonna watch Love Island tonight probably, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we got up to. Please watch on Tuesday or on Plus One or watch it in the week on Catch Up or something. Yeah, watch Flights from Hell Court on camera and let me know what you think. Give me a, give me a comment on this video, send me a DM on Instagram or something, give me some feedback. Yeah, it'd be cool. I can't remember what I said, so we'll see. I hope you're good, hope you had a good weekend. There'll be more vlogs coming your way soon. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos to come. Bye-bye.